Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So today guys, I wanted to give you guys a final video on my Spark Aligners. I wrote some things down because I know I have multiple videos up and I'll probably tag them somewhere for you guys, but I really wanted to touch on the entire experience and every single thing in one video. I'm gonna try my best to find the original photos. They're somewhere in here. Um, and then give you guys a new picture. <laughs> um, and you know, what I recommend it for someone who has like a slight change or even someone that has like major changes that need to be done. So first I'm gonna start off by, by going into where you should go. I don't know how to timestamp these videos. <laughs> so if someone knows, you guys can tell me. Uh, I don't know how to timestamp. I, maybe I'll try to figure it out. But where you should go. Okay, so as someone who goes to a out of network regular dentist, I've been going to her for, shoot, since I moved to Atlanta. And I go to her because I don't know it's just like her service now I do have to pay sometimes but I really like the service there so I'm not gonna change that when I first went to her to get the spark aligners done I don't even think she was using spark I think she was only using Invisalign and here's where it got a little crazy now the price for an out-of-network provider or dentist is always going to be more money than someone that is in network right so my insurance was only covering a small portion. So I was like, oh, and it was $5,500 with her. So when I went to the back, cause I was going for my regular visit, my hygienist was like, girl, <laughs> you know we out of network, right? I was like, oh yeah. And she said, you know, try to find someone that's in network. So I said, okay. So then I watched the video of someone saying, make sure I go to an orthodontist. So that is the first thing. Make sure you are going to an orthodontist. Um, and it's because they are, you know, well educated in that because they do braces and a whole bunch of other stuff, right? <clears throat> so I found an in-network orthodontist near where I live and they were pretty cool, nice people. What happened was with them, she told me that my initial visit, she told me that they weren't gonna cover it. So I was like, well, why? So she was like, oh, something about an age range that me not being covered, it didn't make sense to me because my out of network provider was covering some money. It was like a little bit of money, like $200. I think it was, it was very low. So I was like, well, how come you guys are not covering anything? So she was like, well, they, they probably didn't check it right. No, this is why you have to make sure you are on top of all of your stuff because sometimes these providers, they don't do their job when it comes to checking your insurance. And I'm just gonna say that. So just make sure you're always doubling back. So I called my insurance company and they said, um, well, we don't have a record of them calling us. So they never called. So I told her, I said, well, they don't have a record of you guys calling because it just seems odd that they're not covering anything. So she was like, oh, let me call you right back. And she told me that there was a new girl, tried to blame it on a new girl. So that's, the, that's it. So go to an orthodontist that is in network because your insurance will cover the majority of it. So that's what happened. I think they were like 4,500 or 44. My insurance covered like 20, 25 to 35, I know it was a lot of money that they covered, right? So I just maxed it out, which I didn't care. So that's the first thing. Go to an in-network orthodontist that is near you that have great reviews. The second thing is, so that was the first thing that was where to go and the second thing was coverage. Um, make sure that you are going to an in-network provider that is an orthodontist. The third thing is how long were my how long did I have my uh, aligners for? So for those of you guys who follow me, you know that I did three different refinements, okay? I was supposed to have them for six months. Child, I had this for like a year. And 
during my second set of aligners, which was okay, because the second set, I still felt like my teeth still look like my teeth, and my bite was the same and everything. So during the second set, when they give you your aligners, they give you um, retainers at the end of each set. The second set of aligners, refinements, my, my, um, what do you call it? <laughs> I'm having a brain freeze. <laughs> my retainers had something written on them that said OC. So I didn't know what OC stand for, stood for. So I called and I asked, and she said, you just wear them the same exact way. I don't know, in my head I kept saying, does this mean overcorrecting? Like I didn't know. Let me tell you guys, it was overcorrecting my teeth. All I know is that every day that I would wake up with the retainers, I felt like a little bit of pain, and that is because they were trying to like shift my teeth, still move my teeth, and there was no way to go. So this was, okay, so two things. <clears throat> At this orthodontist office, you can see any orthodontist, right? There was a man and a woman. It seems like every time the man did my teeth or did something, it wasn't as good as the lady. I don't know if because she was just a little bit more depth softer, but he is the one who got me situated for the second set. <laughs> when I called about the retainers, they did say to just wear them regular. It was an issue because when I went back and I saw her, she was like, oh no, it's like moving. So it started to shift these in the front like back inwards, right? So I had to get a third set. So she said, look, this is a third set. Go up to tray 10, but they gave me 19 trays, and then we can go from there, right? Um, so I was like, okay. So I waited up to tray 10, and then I went, and then I was just frustrated, to be honest, because I was just kind of over it, um, having them on for so long. So the, I don't know if you guys can see, can you guys see how it's like a little up right here? You're not supposed to smile like that with your teeth on top of that, but before I did the aligners, I was able to do that and my teeth were still closed. What happened was that second set of aligners, it literally, guys, it literally gave me, it started to change my bite and I was feeling like, whew, my jaw was hurting. She told me after she realized that it was over correcting to stay using the same trays. I took them suckers off. I had them up for like three weeks, maybe a month because it was like shifting my jaw. When I tell you, I felt like, <laughs> it was like, it felt heavy. I don't even know if that makes sense. It felt heavy. So now it's like, it comes out a little for it doesn't look buck or anything but it definitely shifted my bite on my teeth i'm stuck with it now because i'm just like I, they can tell that i wasn't 100 percent happy um and i'll put the name of the place they weren't bad they weren't bad they were nice but i would say you just keep on top of it and if you could see the lady okay if you can um so that changed my bite so okay so let's move forward that was a year when i went to take them off right i um so the guy the man on the dances was there to remove them because i was like i'm frustrated so that is when he, i said he's like you don't seem too happy there was a new guy that was working at this young black kid and he was like well how about you get some braces i was like I'm not, sir i just had these things for a whole year so what he did was he shaved i'm gonna come close he shaved them just a smidget and made them a little straighter now these are crooked to me and uh oh let me see if I can focus these were a little crooked I, I don't even care anymore like I don't even care I'm just like so so okay so he takes the buttons off and they, they shape me up for what I'm gonna talk about next are my retainers my final retainers right so <laughs> They shape me up for my retainers and he cuts it. He cuts it down a little bit. He just shapes them and then he takes off the buttons. My dentist, my regular dentist said make sure they take off all of the glue from the buttons because they will leave some. Child, let me tell you something. I don't know if it's because he's a man, but they're so, he was rough. This is why I, let me not say nothing. So, 
when he took them off, I kept saying, no, I feel it. Like, because I didn't have them all over my teeth, so I know what my teeth feel like. And he's like, well, I don't want to go too far down on your enamel. Well, sir, if you guys are, this is your job, right? You need to make a person's teeth feel smooth like they were when they came in here. I don't want to feel like grit. So it literally felt like, you know how you have a file, like the, the, the hard side of a file? That's how my teeth felt like. It wasn't even, like, it was just like, like I don't know like it wasn't smooth so when I went back to pick up my retainers my final retainers which are actually harder than the Invisalign they look with well, the spark lines they look exactly the same but they're just thicker um, and they also don't go all the way back to your wisdom teeth if you still have wisdom teeth so when I went back to pick up my retainers the lady was there and I was like, look, he, I was like, he just didn't do a good job. So the, it actually was a girl who I was speaking to. She said, you know, the lady doctor is here. I was like, okay, fine. So she was like, let me fix it. And she used this little buffer and I was like, he didn't even use that. So just be mindful of who you are going to and making sure that they're not like shortchanging you on making sure that you are good when you leave there after you take those buttons off because your teeth should not feel gritty mm -mm, and they should not feel rough okay so i went to get my retainers they are like i said thicker they do feel funny in my mouth um now when it comes to the retainers they do have like a insurance thing that you can do you pay like 680 bucks whatever it's like so many different retainers you can get they do they do give you your mold if you need to go to another orthodontist like if you move or something they can just take that and just remake you some retainers. So that's perfect. So you don't want to lose that. Um, like I said, the refinements. So that's the retainers. The refinements, just if you are in a second set of refinements. And I'm, on, I'm saying the second one because usually you are going to have to do at least a second one. Just make sure you are paying attention to your teeth. If you feel pain, if you feel pain, when you put your first set of retainers on in that second set of refinements, well, I guess, okay, so if I have three, I'm gonna say my second set. If you are feeling any pain with that second set of retainers, if you have that OC on that package, pay attention the immediate next morning when you take them off. If you feel some pain, then you should go to your orthodontist because what that is doing that is trying to shift your teeth and there is nowhere for them to go so if you keep them on it's going to start shifting them backwards so pay attention to that that's my biggest tip on this video and this is so you don't have to go <laughs> to do a third set so again once you have your second set of aligners right when you are done and you have to put on that second set of retainers from that second set in the morning of the next day, the morning of the next day, when you take them off, if you feel any tightness, or if your teeth feel like they're hurting, go to your orthodontist and then let them know that your retainers are hurting because they should not be hurting. All right? So I'm gonna try to type that into the, the, the description bar too because that's important just so you don't have to do a third time because honestly, you'll be frustrated. Um, and let me see. Okay, so I talked about the removal of the buttons and making sure that they do get all of the glue off. Make sure they are buffing your teeth. Making sure that your teeth are smooth. Now, when you go back to pick up your retainers, if you feel like they did not get it all off, have them do it before you leave. And that's it, all right? And the last thing is, would I recommend it? I still would. I would, I would just say follow these steps and making sure you are paying attention to your teeth. You do go to the orthodontist to get checked up. I don't think it's as much as a person with braces. Um, however, I do still recommend it. Just be cautious on that second set. And if your retainers say OC on them, it may be overcorrecting your teeth. Also, make sure you are going to an orthodontist. Um, Make sure you are happy with your results, okay? And if your bite is changing and you feel like your jaw is hurting, that means your bite is shifting, tell them. Otherwise, you're gonna end up like me where it's like, and she tried to she tried to clean it up by saying, oh, we just want your smile, to your teeth to follow 
your smile. So let me see. Right? So she's saying like this. Now they were like that before, okay? But am I happy? I am out of a hundred, I'm like 85% because it's just weird for me to see like my teeth at the bottom. They just look, the shape is different. I don't know if you can see it. They just shaped a little different. But I, you know, the top is straight. I'm gonna come closer. You see how it looks like, I don't know. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can see. <laughs> but I'm gonna try my best to get like some close-ups of this new thing and my first initial. Now, when she showed me the pictures, I'm like, oh, they did, they did change, they did. Um, where your, okay, so final thoughts, final advice, wear your align, wear your retainers, guys. If you do not wear your retainers, you would need to go back. And nobody's paying that money again. So make sure you are wearing your retainers. If you lose them, immediately go ahead and go get new ones made. If you can afford it, pay for the insurance so you can get multiple throughout the year. And I think she said it was like $10 a tray if you lost them. So, you know, that's cheap, right? Um, and make sure you are not losing your mold. So that's just a breakdown, where to go, the coverage, how long I had them, um, the buttons, the retainers, the refinements, the removal of the buttons, and what I recommended. So let me know if you guys have any questions. I, um, like I said, I'm not 100% happy because they changed my bite. Um, and I know now that my teeth are just like, it's just like an awkward shape now. Like, they just, I don't know. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just like an awkward shape. Um, but all in all, I'm glad that I did it. Um, I'm glad that it fixed this tooth over here. And this tooth was always like shaped a little different. Like I said, he did shave it. I'm just gonna come close. He did shave it. I'm looking up because, let me see. <laughs> and the light is going in and out. This is my natural lighting. He did shave it. So, this and this. So, I mean, I think it looks pretty good. Um, not perfect, but like I said, I don't wanna get like veneers or anything like that because my teeth are still very strong. And that's important, guys. If you have really strong teeth um, and you just need a little bit of shifting, don't. Don't don't go get veneers. You don't you don't need it. Um, especially if you just have really good bone density on your teeth. There's no need to chop your teeth down and get ones put on over it. Um, if you do have like imperfections that you just hate completely, then I would say yeah. I would say yeah. But if you have like a little slight change in a shifting that you need to do, I definitely recommend them. But again, following these tips when you are doing it. So that is it. If you have any questions on it, please comment below. Um, I can definitely break down a little bit more if you need to. And yeah, that's it. So if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco, we see you. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And my personal style blog, Coco Styles NYC and my style services, CocoStylesNY.com. And guys, I'm on Tickety Tickety Talk, Coco Styles NYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.